Since I was a wee lad, I've had a problem with sleeping in class. Back in middle school, I started getting bad insomnia and would just sleep a maximum of four hours a night, then go downstairs and watch some Adult Swim, Transformers, and Ben 10, so I had to go to school. But usually I didn't get too many problems with teachers until high school. See, around 10th grade, my friends got really into League of Legends and we'd stay up till 4 in the morning just playing, which led to me sleeping in almost all my classes, and you know, I don't know why teachers just can't be cool about it. I mean, is it really so bad if I sleep through chemistry? I doubt I'll ever be in a life or death situation where I need to have extensive knowledge of chemistry, I'm just gonna be like, Oh god, what have I done? But in my junior year, it started getting crazy. I joined a fire science class that gave you training to be a firefighter and EMT, and 90% of the stuff was boring. I mean, my teacher would go on rants about different types of fires, what all these different hazard symbols mean, and... I'm out like a light. The worst part was in that class, if you fell asleep, you had to stand at the back of the class. And the class was three hours long. I mean, when they decided to make it that long, they were just begging for people to sleep in it. I might as well have just had a standing desk. Although, something funny about that class is my teacher would walk out on every test and say, When you guys fight a fire, you're gonna have to work together, but the school doesn't want you doing tests together. So I'm gonna go to the break room for about 20 minutes and leave you guys unsupervised. Wink wink. The first time everybody was kinda like in shock about it, but by the second time we had the two smartest kids saying the answers out loud to everyone. I think that's probably what I miss most about that class. Also in my math class, my teacher would just drop a book by my head every time I fell asleep, but after a while I would start getting bags under my eyes, and I think he felt bad. I'm gonna say though, sleep is really something you can't fight for too long, so teachers should be more accepting, or help kids stay awake by having dance parties every half an hour. Wubba-lubba-dub-dub! I stole that from Rick and Morty, I don't know why! Ah.